myself madhuri modak assistant professor in mathematics department of computer science abidai nandar senior college discrete mathematics is very important for students of computer science now here we start with unit number 3 techniques of counting of discrete mathematics now next is generalized pigeon hole principle if n objects are to be distributed in m boxes where n greater than m then at least one box contains integral part of n minus 1 upon m plus one objects where this notation denotes the greatest integer not exceeding x it means we calculate n minus 1 upon m and we have to consider the greatest integer not exceeding n minus 1 upon m so this is generalized pigeon hole principle so if there are n objects which we are distributing putting into m boxes where n greater than m then at least one box will contain these number of objects now first among 100 people find the minimum number of people born in the same month now as there are 100 persons by pigeon hole principle there exist at least two persons born in the same month that is true by pigeon hole principle but now we want to find minimum number of people born in the same month and to find that answer we use generalized pigeon hole principle now here we are distributing people into different months so n means number of objects is 100 and boxes m is equal to number of months that is 12 now by generalized pigeon hole principle at least one box will contain 100 minus 1 upon 12 plus 1 now this is 99 divided by 12 the answer is 8.25 but we have to consider greatest integer not exceeding 8.25 it means it is 8 so simply you have to remove whatever is the decimal part so integral part is 8 so 8 plus 1 9 it is 9 so there are minimum 9 people born in the same month so this number is minimum so it may be greater than 9 also now see one more example how many friends must you have to guarantee that at least 10 of them will have birthday in the same month now this is in reverse way so if uh, at least 10 must have birthday in the same month then minimum how many friends we must consider that you have to find it means we are putting that friends into 12 boxes which are 12 months and we find here n so n is question mark that we have to find m is number of months that is 12 and it is given that at least 10 are in the same month means minimum number of objects in that box that answer is given as 10 now by generalized pigeon hole principle n minus 1 upon m plus 1 equal to 10 that 10 is given to us now we have to find n that is number of objects or friends so n minus 1 divided by 12 plus 1 is 10 so n minus 1 upon 12 is 10 minus 1 that is 9 now to find n minus 1 we shift 12 to right side so n minus 1 is 12 into 9 which is 108 so n is equal to 108 plus 1 that is 109 so 109 friends must be there to guarantee that at least 10 of them will have birthday in the same month now next show that if seven colors are used to paint 50 bicycles at least eight bicycles will be of same color now here 50 cycles uh, 50 bicycles are there and seven colors we are using now we have to show that eight bicycles will be of same color so here we form the boxes according to that seven color so each different color is one different box so there will be seven boxes and according to color 50 bicycle we place in that seven boxes so number of objects is number of bicycles that is 50 so n equal to 50 and m is nothing but number of colors that is seven now we have to show that at least eight bicycles will be of same colors that means that eight bicycles will be in the same box that is minimum number of objects in one box that we have to show by pigeon hole principle at least n minus 1 upon m plus 1 
is equal to 50 minus 1 upon 7 plus 1 which is 7 plus 1 equal to 8. So, 8 bicycles will be in the same box. So, minimum 8 bicycles will be of same color. Now, next, how many cards must be selected from a standard deck of 52 cards to guarantee that at least 3 cards of same suit are frozen? How many must be selected to guarantee that at least 3 hearts are selected? Now, you know playing cards. So, there are 52 playing cards. Now, we have to find here how many cards must be selected so that at least 3 cards of same suit are selected. Now, 4 suits will form 4 boxes and total 52 cards are there that is 52 objects. The cards selected are placed in the box reserved for cards of that suit. By pigeonhole principle, generalized pigeonhole principle, n minus 1 upon m plus 1 is equal to n minus 1 divided by 4 plus 1 is equal to 3. Because at least 3 cards of same suit are selected. Now we solve this. So n minus 1 upon 4 is equal to 2. So n minus 1 is 4 into 2 which is 8. So n is equal to 9. So we must select at least 9 cards so that definitely we will get at least 3 cards of same suit. Now how many must be selected to guarantee that at least 3 hearts are selected. Now in this case it is not necessary to use the pigeonhole principle. Now we have to decide how many cards must be selected so that definitely at least 3 cards will be there. Now other than heart there are 13 spade cards, 13 club cards and 13 diamond cards. So it may be possible that first we select diamond spade club cards. So initially we select that 39 cards but after selecting 39 cards only heart cards are remaining. So after selection of 39 cards if we select that 3 heart cards then among 42 cards definitely there will be 3 heart cards. So we must select minimum 42 cards to guarantee that at least 3 card, 3 heart cards will be there. So these are examples of pigeonhole principle which is the last point of unit number 3. Thank you.